what's up everyone welcome back today we have for you some really exciting diys that you're going to love headed to dollar tree once again went straight to the crafters square aisle and found these beautiful wooden items including these planked boards I grabbed four of them and brought them home. I'm going to make a full window. I'm sure you see something similar like this, but I wanted to make it because they just screamed that window. So I'm going to remove the little bead hanging portion, but I'm going to put those to the side because I'm going to come back to them for another DIY. I removed all of them and then I am going to join each board. Now I'm going to use a combination of hot glue and permanent glue. Just going to put a little bit of each. That way I have a strong hold, but also a fast hold. After I attached all four of them together, I realized that some of it did not just hold very well, or at least there was a gap. So I want to cover it up using these flat dials that I get on Amazon and I do have on my Amazon store. Don't forget guys, anything that I say that I get on Amazon, chances are is on my Amazon store. You can also follow me there and anytime I add any new items, you'll be notified. So I'm just going to start marking and cutting with my miter shears, which by the way, I do have on my Amazon store as well. And I'm going to start covering up those gaps. Then I decided to just go ahead and trim the whole thing because it just added this cute little touch and it just kind of brought everything together. And that's what I did. Once I had the window completely built, I'm going to give it two coats of Waverly Chalk Band in the white. While the window dries, I'm going to take this thrifted wreath. Now this wreath form is gorgeous. It has like a wire form and then they covered it in this beautiful grapevine style. I thrifted it a while ago and I just want to give it a new look for Valentine's Day or maybe even spring. I'm going to take these magnolia leaves little picks that I have. I had them for so long and I keep using little pieces of them. I put one to the, to the top right and then another one to the bottom right then i'm going to take some of these boxwood that i get from amazon and i'm just going to place them here and there just to fill it in these sunflowers are beautiful i got them at home goods they were on clearance for eight dollars three of them i thought they were a great deal such good quality and i love that color i took one of the leaves and i added it to the top portion and then i'm just going to hot glue the sunflower white to the center I realized that the window was not sturdy enough, so I want to give it some support on the back. So I added three painter sticks and I stapled them to place. This worked very well. I'm going to take this tiny little eye uh, hook and I'm just going to place it on the back, making sure that the open side is facing downward. This is because I want to add one of these jute strings to the wreath form and we're going to hang it so that it is tied on the back of it, just like you see here. And that's it for this one. What a beautiful full window. Did not spend much money at all. This wreath is gorgeous right on top of it. It's one of my favorites. For the next Dollar Tree DIY, I'm gonna take these two little wooden flowers. You can get them at a Dollar Tree. They come in a little pack and my crop a dial and I'm just gonna crop a hole right on top of each. I do have the crap doll in my Amazon store as well. I'm going to give it two coats of Rust-Oleum Chalked Bane in their pink tone. Actually, it was one coat. And then I'm going to let that dry. I'm going to take those beads that it came with, or the little boards came with, and I'm going to remove them. And I'm going to make a little bead garland. Why not? I already had the beads, and I thought they were gorgeous. Already had that, like this beautiful whitewash look. I'm going to thread them using some of these stitch needles because it makes it so much easier. And I don't have a specific pattern. I'm just threading them. Once I reach the end, I'm going to bring the little flowers and I'm just going to attach them. I'm going to thread it through a little hole. I'm going to bring the jute string up and then I'm going to thread it through that last bead. And this way it's going to give me the knot in between two beads instead of the flower and the bead. So once I thread it through that bottom bead, I'm just going to tie it. You're going to see me do it a couple of knots. And then that way the knot is going to fit right inside that bead and you won't even see that knot. I did the same thing on the other side and that's it. I kept them so simple. I thought about adding something to the flowers, but I love simplicity and I love how dainty and cute they look.
For the next Dollar Tree DIY, I'm going to take this wreath form. It is wire, it is heart shaped, and it's a pretty good size. I'm also going to take one of these tiles from the automobile section at Dollar Tree. I'm going to cut them into strips. If you have fabric scissors, this is the best way to cut these tiles. My regular scissors were not doing a good job, but fabric scissors are awesome, and I do have these in my Amazon store. I cut the strips to about two and a half maybe some of them three inches no need for them to be completely even i'm going to start wrapping the wreath form all around there's no magic to this no special technique pretty much just make sure that all the seams are on the back of the wreath form that way it's going to look nice and clean in the front friends i would love to connect with you on instagram facebook and pinterest i have those links down below in the description box go ahead and check them out when you're done watching so I'm just about done wrapping it up and then I'm just going to cut off some of those back little corners just so that it's cleaner. You don't need to because they're in the back, but just so that it's a bit more smooth and clean. I'm going to take these faux ferns from Dollar Tree and I'm going to grab two of each color. They have like a lighter color and a dark color and I'm going to place two facing down and two facing up on the left side of the heart. I'm going to then take this beautiful flower also from home goods on sale i grabbed a bundle and this one is left over from christmas and i just hot glued it right in the center doesn't that look so pretty then i'm going to take this little grassy picks i'm just going to take two of the little grass hot glue them to the top and one to the bottom this is just going to add a little bit of touch of greenery this heart is stunning it's definitely my favorite from today has such a romantic look to it beautiful For the next DIY, I'm going to take this farmhouse truck. I got a Dollar General for $15. I thought it was a great deal. I got it about a couple of years ago. I used it just like it came, just like you see, but then I placed it in a shelf and I was just not in love with the purple. So I'm just going to give it a new look, perfect for either Valentine's or spring. I already removed all of my decor from Christmas and I have winter decor, but adding some Valentine's Day decor here and there to it just adds so much festive feel. I removed all the florals from it and I just added a fresh coat of this moss from Dollar Tree and I'm going to bring in a couple of these magnolia leaves picks once again. I'm just going to add them towards the back of the bed. Here's another one of those flowers. Now it is missing a few petals. I'm going to try to make it work. I'm just going to place it right towards the front there. And some of these little pink flowers that I believe are from Walmart. I'm going to cut different little branches from it. I'm just going to start adding them here and there, making sure that the ones in the back are taller and the ones on the front are shorter. I'm going to use one of them in the front to cover where the petals are missing. And I think this truck is stunning. This is my console table and that's where I placed it and that's where it's going to live all through spring. For the next Dollar Tree craft, I'm going to take this wooden heart sign from Dollar Tree and I'm going to remove the little black portion from it very carefully because I do want to reuse it. I'm not going to remove the paper from the front, but you can do that if you want to. I'm just going to sand it down using my electric sander. It's quicker and it just roughens up that surface and it keeps it very matte because we are going to give it a couple of coats of paint. So I'm just going to wipe it down really well and then give it two coats of Waverly chalk paint in the white and then of course let it fully dry. I am then going to bring in these printable that I got and I printed here in a laser printer. Now I have never attached or transferred any color printed graphics on anything. I've always used Mod Podge with just like a black and white design. So this is going to be a first for me. Let's see if it works out. I'm going to apply some Mod Podge. This is after I remove the excess paper from around the design. Once I had the Mod Podge where I wanted it, I'm just going to place the design, making sure that I smooth out any bubbles and that it is as attached as possible. My mistake was that I did not give it enough time for it to dry. And you're going to see here in a minute what happened. But I'm going to put it to the side and let it dry. The little black board, I am going to paint in that pink again from Rust-Oleum Chalk Paint. I'm going to give it two coats. 
coats. This is just going to add it to the design, some color, and it's going to look so cute. All right, so here's where things go a little south. I'm going to use the wet rag, and I'm sure you've seen this before. You just want to wet the surface with a damp towel and just start removing that top portion of the paper and revealing the design. Because I did not give it enough time to dry, it did remove a lot of the design. It was my fault. I should have left it for a few more hours, but I just wanted to rush it. <laughs> I was impatient. Now, I am going to make it work because it does have a distressed look, and I do like that look. Although I was not planning on it, we're going to make it work. So I removed as much as possible from that paper. Then I'm going to take a permanent marker, and I'm just going to write the word Valentine's right on the little pink board. Simple. I'm going to hot glue it to the bottom of the heart. That way, it has the same kind of look that it had originally. These beads I already had on hand. They were already stained this color from previous projects. Some of them are brown, some are yellow, some are blue. So I'm just going to start creating some sort of pa pattern that kind of matches the amount of beads I have. I'm going to thread it through the top just like I did with the bead garland. I'm going to just thread it through the first bead and tie it and make sure that you do not see that knot. And I did the same thing on the other side and that's it for this one. Now I got to say... I kind of like the way it turned out. I was going to add some florals, but it's, I said, you know what? Let's just leave it like this. I think it's so, so cute. For the next Dollar Tree craft, I'm going to take this canvas style sign from Dollar Tree. You can find these all the time in the picture frame area. So I'm going to grab this one. I'm going to give it two coats of Rust-Oleum Chalk Paint in the Linen White and, of course, let it dry. Then I'm going to take this round brush. It's kind of like a waxing brush. I'm also going to take some Rust-Oleum Chalk Paint in the Country Gray. And I'm just going to make some stripes going from top to bottom. The stripes are going to be about two inches apart from each other. And then I'm going to bring in one of the Dollar Tree decals. You know, I love using these decals. They're so wonderful to use. And this one has a beautiful scripture. There's one of my favorites. And it's about love. So I thought it was perfect. I'm going to place it to the right side of the sign. And that's it. <laughs> it doesn't get any easier than this. I just placed it the best I could, making sure there's no bubbles. And I think it turned out so adorable. How cute would this be added to any decor already in your home? Just to add a little bit of scripture but also just a beautiful message, perfect for Valentine's or any other day of the year. I cannot wait to hear which one is your favorite. Let me know down below in the comments. And here's another video for you to check out. I'll see you later and have a blessed day. Bye.